Hi everybody, it's Pastor Lilliard and this is my lectionary Bible study where I tell you the things I'm thinking about, a little bit of the topic, of course, uh, a Bible passage to look at and to prepare your hearts and maybe, you know, see life through the lens uh, of the things you're going to think about through my words and then, you know, we come to worship on Sunday and then uh, you, know, you have some thoughts about where I might go or uh, hopefully then in some ways it uh, just is, digs a little bit deeper. Uh, this past week we started a four-week sermon series on freedom and what a sermon series is it's either three weeks or four or five or six depends upon uh, how long and I want it to go and then you pick a topic whether it be freedom or it could be life in Christ or it could be living with your neighbor and then you pick topics you know one week would be how to live with your neighbors how to live with those who are like you how to live with those who are unlike you and then you go and pick a text or two and then you just take the two and you preach on the theme of the day and this past sunday in case you are somewhere else and life takes you somewhere else you can go on our website and go to the archives and and dig in especially now that you know things are pretty sequential from week to week you can look at one and not the second, but you kind of like to know where it's going because it really is successive approximations. We're really going somewhere. So this past week, it was freedom from sin and death. This week, it's freedom to. Uh, so every other week, it's freedom from and then freedom to, that Jesus forgives us and loves us, empowers us to be, to do, to love, to serve. And what I want you to think about is Imagine if you, and I touched upon it a little bit this past Sunday, but imagine it's kind of like a, a golf tournament. If you watch the PGA, is that it's four days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They play on Thursday, they play on Friday, and then who's ever at the top, they have a certain criteria that so many people make the cut to go into Saturday, and Saturday and Sunday is when you make the money. If, if you don't make the cut and you fly to Hawaii, and you bring your team, you bring your caddy, and you don't make the cut, you make no money. So you write a check out of your account that you did not make. Well, it's not a perfect analogy, but if you think about living your life, and then you think about how good must I be in order to be in God's good standing. Well, we're forgiven. We have grace, we have mercy and loving kindness. And I think, what I want you to think and give thanks for is that I think what Jesus did, of course, is help us feel better about ourselves, but also made us not have to worry about the commandments or all the laws. Back in the Old Testament, there were almost 600 laws that you would have to follow. You'd, how to enter, how to go, how to leave, how to do this, how to not do that. And you would be so almost paralyzed wondering whether or not you're doing the right thing. Instead, through forgiveness, through death on the cross, Jesus just said, go. And just willfully and recklessly love your neighbor without keeping track. Just be thinking about how can I give thanks to God for all the things that I have. And what Jesus basically says, and I'll itemize them for you, what can we do for you, God? And God says, love my children. Well, exactly like what children? Select children? No, love all my children. All the people who live around you, all the people who work with you, all the people you see along the way, they're all my children. So I would like you to be kind to them. I would like you to love them without keeping track, without worrying if it's on the Sabbath or this or that, you're doing it the right way, just love. Reach out, do, and be my hands, my feet, my love, my forgiveness, my mercy. So, hope you have another great week, but I also hope you come and worship where we think about and hear how God, all the way through the Bible, but also Jesus in his ministry says, I've freed you so you may love and serve all your neighbors. Be well. God bless. See you soon in worship.